Welcome to spring, the snow has melted and we have a lot to talk about in today's update video. So taking a look at the announcement where you can find wanted vehicles, steal them and sell them. They remove the snow, of course, spring is here. You can actually buy newspapers now. There's a new private server API pack, portable water pump for the fire department team, and they've replaced all the traffic light and police camera models. Also reduce the number of traffic cams. And Liberty Powell have had a store revamp. So first thing we need to do is head down to the tool store and grab ourselves a uh, crowbar to actually rob a car with. We've got the crowbar, which is a thousand dollars and you can, or well, this lasts for four attempts. So you can get four car robbers in if you're, if you're good enough at using it here. There we go. So we've got our crowbar. Let's pop back in our car and let's find a car to rob. Now, like the cars that you can buy around the map, they simply spawn around the map and you just find one and above the car, it will have an icon uh, saying that you can rob the car. So now we've arrived at the mod shop, we're gonna head inside, go to the back office and uh, actually steal this. This has all changed a bit. There used to be a door here, but this is now all open up. So now we've got an ECU hacking machine and a crowbar, the two things we need to rob a car. Thanks to Sean YG for actually teleporting us to the car since we couldn't find it. But anyways, you go over here, use your crowbar to break into the car. And then you're greeted with this mini game. And so essentially you have to click when the red line is over the green bar. And the more expensive the vehicle is, the smaller the green box will be. So the challenge will of course be harder. So this works pretty quickly. Once we're in the hacking stage, we click go and we need to replicate these numbers. So five, six, no, five, six, four, six. Oh no, I've done this terribly. Okay, this is bad. Five, six, four, six, four, six. Five, six, four, six, four, six. Yes, okay, that's good. And you can see this percentage here is going up and up and up. 83%, two, five, two, five, two, one. Two, five, two, five, two, one. Boom, we're in. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip out our ECU hack. We need to go into the ECU system, security, and vehicle anti-theft. Toggle this, it is now disabled, and the alarm has stopped. Now, as you can see, there is an icon on the map for the stolen vehicle. You can disable this if you want. You can go through all of the systems in the ECU hack and find the car tracking device. You can disable that and then police cannot see you on the map, I believe. Anyways, we're gonna park up in here and we're gonna go over to our friend, Eddie. Now he walks around this area, so he may not be here, he may be standing outside. Uh, but anyways, you just go over to him and you're gonna sell a car. There we go, let's see what you've got. Okay, and you can see he's just walking away from me. So we can negotiate and now he no longer wants the vehicle. As you saw there, we tried to negotiate with him and it doesn't always work and then he doesn't want the vehicle. But you can sell the vehicle for roughly, I think it's between like 4K and 8K, depending on how much the vehicle is. Sometimes you can negotiate with him and he'll actually buy the car for more than it's worth. Eddie doesn't seem like he's in a good mood today, but uh, if you want to play it safe, just sell the car, don't negotiate. Got a tanker spawned in now. Let's head over to the nearest lake or body of water, I should say, to test out a new feature with this. All right, so we parked up here. Let's access the compartment and let's find ourselves this, wherever this is going to be, water pump. Perfect, so we've got ourselves a water pump. Click on a spot of uh, body of water. So if we pull this out, let's click on here and we can place the water pump. Let's place it, I suppose, up here. There we go. And look at that, we have a hose to the water. We're gonna pop that down, grab a supply discharge. Only need 100 feet, oh, we ran away a bit too far. Supply intake, there we go, on the back. And look at that, we're now pumping water from the lake into our tanker. Pretty cool feature, I suppose, for fire department role plays. And yeah, just another nice thing. Looks like everyone else has heard the news as well and is rolling down here. Whilst we are in Springfield, the Liberty Apparel Shop has been updated. As you can see, it now contains a lot more of the UFC merchandise. And yeah, they didn't really update this before, but it's now, well, they've now got like a 3D logo in here. They've got all their caps that you can actually buy as uh, UGCs. And yeah, just a bunch more clothing, which is uh, really, really cool to see. All right, here we go. So if we park up here, as you can see, we've got a nice little machine over here and we can buy a newspaper for $3. And it's actually kind of cool because there's a few different variants of the newspapers that you can read, some different news articles and stories, which is uh, always cool, but that's not where it ends. So heading in the back, if we join the team, you can see we have these bags um, that you can carry newspapers in. 
If we go over here as well, we have a bundle of newspapers. And essentially what we can do is just run around the map and stock up the newspaper stands, which is kind of cool with a bundle of newspapers. Traffic cameras have been removed from lamp poles. Guessing this would be a flash and that's the camera, something along the lines that. And there's a bunch of them around the map. So just be careful, take a look out and uh, make sure you do not get caught by one of these. Now, this is a really big feature if you are in a private server, if you're in a private server, if you don't, probably not so much, but they now have a new ERC private server API pack. And what this means is you can use any of the three bots, Melonly, ERM or Trident to control your private server from Discord or from their website. And so you can moderate people without having to be in game, for example. Now I'll do a full video explaining all of this because there's a bit of a tutorial on setting this up and there's a bunch of things you can do which I really can't cover in one update video. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. But I have covered this before in prior videos since uh, I've been lucky enough to test this feature out before it was publicly available. Pretty much the last big feature is on police. If we head to the dispatch room, or sheriff I suppose, and uh, pop onto the traffic cameras, we can now no longer view the traffic cameras at the intersections, but now basically all around the map. So sheriff's office, we've got the highway, we've got the police station, we've got in the city. So there's a bunch of CCTV cameras and these are now the cameras that you can view. And there's a lot more that you can view now than you could before. So yeah, um, I think there's, what's that, 12 maybe? 15, 15 different cameras. So thank you very much for watching this video and welcome to Spring in ERC. I've no doubt that the developers will get back onto a more consistent update schedule, which I think everyone will be pleased to hear. So lots to come this spring slash summer. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more role plays, news and updates, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.